hey guys we're gonna look at a new video just come out recently it was filmed around uh, Christmas uh, 2016 by this uh, video uh, youtuber here Behinko uh, I don't know if that's how you pronounce that um, the uh, six Bigfoot caught on live cam at Yellowstone on Christmas 2016 I guess you could almost call this one uh, a sequel, a sequel to Think of Thunkers, Bigfoot uh, versus Buffalo. And here we see he's going down kind of sitting down with uh, the other individual don't ask me what they're doing <laughs> just scrolling back and forth back and forward again sitting down in the snow freezing temperatures I imagine the walk Uh, I'm not going to um, show the whole video if you want to do that you can uh, I'll leave the link and then you can watch it yourself and I'll take a closer look here so what it appears to be uh, another uh, Bigfoot or something some figure so it's not clear whether these are Bigfoots let's, uh, let's be clear about that um, but I, I have a feeling that, that uh, they are so we have this figure here um, let's say that this for example that this could be uh, an injured uh, Sasquatch or something like that and then this one is uh, coming along to give some support so it's a bit of a closer closer shot here the legs moving nice profile shot of course yes it's bl very blurry so the person was actually filming the the screen um, of the the live feed trail cam I guess so I guess that's the right leg possibly stepping in and then watch the the back leg as he steps down, the back leg already follows straight away down, and it's following already. So that's quite interesting. Head quite far forward, as you can see. Okay, let's move on. A gathering. So I'll play this section now. So we see one, two, three, four, five, six individuals, six figures, four standing and two, two uh, sitting. It's not the best stabilization attempt, but. I really wanted to get this one out as quickly as possible. So I'll just um, scroll back and forth on a few things here. So here we have the individual on the left, nearest to the trees. And what can we see? Kind of looks like he's raising it, or he's it's raising his arms. Left arm or right arm, we don't know. And it turns turns from left to right, I think. And it almost looks like he's carrying something. And I will take a closer look at that in a minute. Look at the width on these creatures. Look at the width. Proportions of the body. Now look at this walk here. From this one. 
left to right, steps up onto something. Look how far he's, le how far forward he's leaning. Looks like about maybe a foot to two foot of snow there. I, I, of course, I'm just estimating, guessing. So again, we have the two individuals that we saw in the beginning. The colors changed because the monitors changed. They've changed monitors, filming different monitors now. There's somehow there's a different color. I don't know why. But there does appear to be a red color on the on some of these uh, individuals and we'll look closely at that in a minute here it looks like uh, this one is is handing something to these people here uh, these uh, individuals here or receiving something hand goes out and comes back scrolling back and forth they make contact and then the red one goes back there that's that's it hand and proportions so again here's the one the individual on the left bearing in mind that they are in the snow this is not um, the legs are not just cut off like that obviously <laughs> so they're standing in maybe a foot of snow or two foot of snow Turning from left to right, scrolling back and forth. Like I say, there appears to be something. At first, I thought he's just scratching his leg, but then when I zoomed in a bit closer and uh, enhanced, this is uh, we could see something here. One, two, three, four. Um, fingertips possibly and if that is a hand look at the sides of the hand in proportion to the to the body one two three four five interesting and look how the neck tapers down from head to shoulder this is literally no neck here no neck whatsoever Look how far down the head is inside the inside the body. Okay, again, left to right. Okay, and it's a closer look at the uh, fingertips there. Just here. Uh, potential uh, fingertips I should say infant now here's where it gets interesting so when I first saw this I thought this was uh, just a human carrying something but then you know like this was maybe a stretcher or something for the in the injured individual but then I noticed there was movement so I'll play this and watch here you can see there's movement as if something is coming from top to bottom you can almost see a face that there. Is that an ear? Actually, look, looking at it now, it just looked like an ear there. Eyes and nose. Let's play again. So watching around this area, something dropping down. Again. Okay, we're going to take a closer look. And bam. So could this be an infant here? Possibly head, left shoulder, <coughs> knees. Almost like sitting on the uh, left arm of this adult. Potentially. And I guess with the snow and the winter, they would have more fluffy uh, coats. It's like any other animal. Not that they are animals. Of course, they are somehow animals, but 
I like to think of them as more human, if anything. A little hand. Yes, I noticed a little hand here. Zoom in. So we're looking at this same uh, individual here with potentially the infant on his left arm, left arm, and then I notice just around here. Where is it? Mm. Ah. Just around here. See? There. Bingo. There. A hand. One, two, three, four, five fingers. Let's try and take a closer look. Tiny hand, right there. And again. So back, and now I'm moving forward, frame by frame, and here. One, two, three, four, five fingers. So, just thought that was interesting. And that's all we have. That's all I. Um, um, spotted really in this this uh, footage of interest to me and we don't really have any comparison I'm afraid there's nothing to compare I mean there's nothing to compare the size there are trees around but we don't know how large those trees are I mean I certainly don't know maybe this information will come to light eventually let's watch this one more time <laughs> okay, thanks for watching guys.